All right, what's up, guys? This is No Procrastination, episode 14. I'm Daniel. I'm Brian. And we're just going to start off by saying uh, rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. Uh, where, where were you when you heard the news? Uh, I, was, I just got home. Or no, I was home. Did, yeah, did, I was just home. Did you, like, believe it right away? I was about to go to work. Really? Yeah, I saw, I, I saw it. I saw the uh, notification for it that you got shot. I didn't really care about it because I was like... I was like, like people always getting shot at. Oh, yeah. They always make it. I was it like, they, it they go third. They, yeah. You thought he was just gonna make it? Yeah, I was yeah, like, I, it wasn't even a thing of that for me. I just thought it was like fake at first. Like, cause really? I, yeah, I just didn't even believe it. Like, I was watching a game. I think I think I just got back from eating with my family, and like I was just looking at my phone. And I, uh, I think I think Leslie sent me the DM like on Twitter. She was like, oh, she's like this like, and then I was just looking. I was like, whatever. It's like probably some fake shit. We just like the stuff with J Cole in Africa like the week before. Oh yeah. I was like nah, bro. People put out fakes up all the time. I was like, I'm not, I'm not even gonna. It is no mind. And I like, tossed my phone. And then, like, I just kept on getting, like, like more, like, notifications, notifications. And then, and then I stumbled across the video, which, like, I didn't want to see at all. But, like, once I saw that video, that sh- The first video? The one of him, like, laying on the ground. Like, yeah, that one's rough. That one. I was like, yeah, I don't know. I didn't believe it just because, like, I was like, he's probably, just probably something caught up to him. Mm-hmm. And he just got shot at. Yeah. But. You, you thought he didn't get hit or nothing? You just had, yeah, I thought he just, didn't like, get hit. Fired. And then I ended up just getting ready for work. Yeah. And then I cut. And then I checked my phone, and it's just like, oh, like, it was right in front of his store, and, this yeah, and, that, I, and then the video came out, and I was like, wow. I think I took a nap, because I was literally just like, it's, like, it's fake. I, I think I took a nap, and I woke, I woke back up later, and I looked. And yeah, I like, once, once I saw the video, once I saw, like, more saw of the news, video. I was like, damn. Bro, that shit looks good. And yeah, I cried. Yeah, bro. I had yeah. a couple of tears, like. I cried a little bit. I was, like, damn. I was, like, in shock at first, like, I really, do, I really wasn't. Like processing it, like literally just until like three days ago, I think maybe it finally hit me. Like, cause like I usually just seeing constantly, like, oh, he's not here, he's not here. And I was like, yeah, he's not here. Like, I think I think it hit me hard because of everything he was gonna do. Right. Like yeah. I wasn't even like the biggest biggest fan of his music. I love his music. Fan. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. I wasn't like a fucking oh. But like I was just. <clears throat> so supportive of the things he was doing like besides music because he was like way bigger than music and he knew that too like, like his his goal wasn't to be like this fucking legend in music it was to be a legend like in his community or like in the streets or yeah like a an icon to like his people like, and i was just excited to see everything i was also i was also about to go out there to la to go see a shop before that happened too mm-hmm. so i was like damn but i was also also more sad just because the people that are left behind. Right, that was like, another reason why I was sad. Kids, like I really yeah. sad. I didn't even just his family and kids, just like people looked up to the him and his head. Like little kids, like little kids everywhere around. Yeah, that, that just, whole... even in, yeah, even in just uh, where he lived mm. in his community and everything. And plus, um, that documentary. And I, but I really don't like how people were saying that. I didn't. I didn't like that either. Like, I didn't. I, like just not even yet. <laughs> People were stupid. Yeah, you could have at least waited. Like, and right people were away. trying to prove, like, oh, you gotta be and, woke. And I don't like because people are not holding themselves accountable to their own fucking community. Like, they're people trying to, still believe it. They're trying to blame everybody else but themselves. Like, they're trying to blame the government. They're not looking, like, to the person next to them being like, yo, like, what the fuck are we doing in, in LA, bro? Like, nobody's holding themselves accountable. They were immediately just, oh, this is some government shit. This, ain't, this wasn't one of us. Like, bro, yeah, it was from gotta, the start. All that. Uh, even Dr. Sebi was a uh, CB. CBC, but whatever was trending yeah. with them. Come on, bro. Really? I was like, like damn, all right. Like, bro, just passed away, bro. Like, don't be. And then more news came out. It was like in front of his daughter yeah. and everything. Bro, yes. yeah, Lauren London was there too. And like, mm-hmm. No, Lauren wasn't there. Yeah, she was. Nah, she didn't find out until she got to the hospital. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, oh, but his kid was there? Yeah, he was, because he, uh, there was a picture of him and his daughter. They took pic- right before. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah. Um, no, that wasn't his daughter. The little kid next to him? Was that not his daughter? No, no, no. It, was a, it was just some, some fan's daughter. Like some oh, daughter. Yeah. oh, never mind. Yeah, no. <laughs> I, remember the, I, mean, I don't know. I remember them saying it was his daughter out there, too. Yeah, I think so it was, was like just a there. bunch of di- a bunch of like more news like kept coming out That's and I was so like damn it's kind of hard. Like, was really just chilling in front of the shop like it didn't make he, me feel yeah that too. He does just, that every day like they say he just mm-hmm. chills in front of it every day like just has this one day happen. And they're saying that he was the reason he was there with like no security or anything was I heard that, yeah. he was hooking up one of his boys that just, just got out of jail yeah. which is new clothes yeah, and everything. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, I think. What I what I was comparing him to was like, I don't want to call him like like it was like Pac or whatever when mm-hmm. he died. Mm-hmm. It sure felt like that though. Yeah, like and yeah, I can't even like I see, 
Like, I understand more when, <clears throat> when I hear older people talk about, like, oh, when Pac died, like, it was crazy, like, or, like, when Biggie died. Like, it was like, quiet, it was like, sad. Yeah, it was like, like, now, like, I, like, I understand that. Like, this one hit me hella hard, because it felt like he was more, like, taken from us, like, because mm-hmm. when, sometimes when other rappers, like, you know, like, like, drug overdose or something like that, it's like, okay, well, like, that was, like, you did that yourself, like, and, like, it's still fucked up, like, it's sad, but, but this one felt like more, like, he was literally just taken from us. Even the story before, like how fool, how you embarrassed the guy. Yeah, right. Like, like oh, I guess the guy came earlier that day and was like, I guess he's just a no snitch. Yeah. And yeah. then Nipsey just called him out and was like, he. Yeah. Every everyone said that he asked the dude to just leave politely, mm-hmm. but he embarrassed him. That mm-hmm. is what everyone said. Oh, they yeah. called him a snitch and Shit. embarrassed him in front of everybody. Deserve it, bro. Come on. <clears throat> that video was messed up too. The video where you just see him walk up Dog. and just do all. I didn't want to watch that video, but like I stumbled upon it again. Yeah. Like, it was no detail to it. It was just like, oh, new video footage. So I was like, what's this about? People were hella messed up. People were like retweeting it and everything. Nah, and like, know, it. I was, I was like, no. Or kicked him, bro. I saw that. Oh, yeah. Man. But, I don't know. I'm really happy in everything that's going on for it, though. Like what Jay-Z did. Mm-hmm. He did the for his well, kids no, and the Staples do, Center. But he didn't do the for What? Jay-Z didn't do the, what the, everybody was saying on Twitter. He didn't? No. You sure? Yeah, they confirmed it. Who? Cool. What what was it? It was a tuition thing. <clears throat> nah, it was a trust fund. Trust fund? Yeah, he didn't do it. Mm. Yeah. They, they confirmed it with like one of his people from... Oh, damn. Yeah, from Rock Nation. I forget that then. Yeah, Never they mind. kind of for doing that too. Though. But the know. the Staples Center one, I think, did, did they confirm that yet? Yeah, that they they're, they're holding his, uh, the, his funeral service at Staples Center? Yeah, next Thursday. That's going to be dope. That's mainly, bro. I really, that's really good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what else to say. It's really a, it is a hard topic to talk about. Yeah. Um, he was one of my role models, For like sure, overall. <clears throat> he was starting his label, how he started it, like bro, something bro, I want to do. His masters already too, bro. Yeah, and he already owned everything. Like he know. was on that woke shit. Like he was like a step ahead of everybody, like business wise for sure. Yeah, I mean he's always been ahead of the game. It's crazy. Bro. With like his mixtape, his hundred dollar mixtape, Crenshaw. Ass move, honestly. And even the other one, the his thousand dollar album. It's it's crazy, for a minute. Crazy, bro. <clears throat> no. Yeah, what up? His Vector is Vector uh, 90, too, right? To his STEM, his STEM program. Oh, yeah. His STEM there was program. that, too. His STEM and, program. Then, and then he got billionaires to put a billion dollars into Crenshaw for, um, what was that thing called? Um, For that whole boulevard mm-hmm. to, to change it all up. Mm-hmm. To get all but yeah, by this year, yeah. he set that up. That's crazy. I think that's what I'm going to miss out the most, is what else he had to offer. What else he could have done. Yeah, what else he could have done. Yeah. Like, and not even the music, because I wasn't Nipsey. I liked his music. Yeah. I love his music. Yeah. yeah. But I was more excited to see. I was. I was what, more. What, what was his next move gonna yeah, be? Yeah, yeah. Like what? Like in real life. Like yeah. yeah. He was only thirty three. Yeah, bro, that's crazy. Like, First like, album to get a Grammy nom too. Yeah, and he, he was, was just starting to like. He was just friends. starting to pop off like in the real like mainstream. Like people were starting mm-hmm. to take notice. Like yeah. Yeah, everyone. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I th- I felt I felt bad seeing like people reply to it. I really liked what Q said though. How people school were like, boy? yeah, yeah school bro, boy was saying about people were asking like, how come you haven't said anything? This isn't that. Like, shut the fuck up, bro. What do you got to put on the front on Instagram? <clears throat> yeah, on Instagram or Twitter or like any of that. Yeah. And that is, I don't know, it is, it is really sad that like the public does expect something or like want right? to see something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they expect something. It's stupid, bro. Come on now. Yeah. Um, so, also another, bro, the, you know, the, you, have you ever followed the page on Twitter uh Hip hop facts only, I think it's called. Yeah, I've seen it. The the fool that created <clears throat> that, uh, his name was Bart Gothy, I think, on Twitter. I think he found he died too. Yeah, he was like depressed or something. Huh? But he was like, bro, I've been following that page since like middle school, I think. Like all I would ever see is that fool just trying to, like, put artists on and like, like he would always hit up an artist like on Twitter, but like, hey, can you tell us a fun fact about yourself? Like, like I just see that fool like grinding and shit. Like, oh, he passed. Yeah, he passed. Bro. Oh, damn, from what? Yeah, he was like depressed. I don't know if he <coughs> for uh-huh. suicide or anything. But he, he, I guess he had like a whole bad depression. So he... damn, I don't, I don't really keep up with him. But yeah. damn, that's really sad. I too. forgot about him, bro. I was like, and then I just heard from him. I was like, damn. I was like, I used to follow this for like how long? Ago. He's in New York, I think. Cool. But yeah, bro. R. P. To both of them. Yeah, R. P. Nip. R. P. Uh, what was the guy's name? Bargathi was his Twitter handle. Bargathi. Yeah. yeah. Um. Also, no, no. Last thing, I do hope his. Family and his the people around Nips. Uh, I feel like Nip released wrote stuff down that he wanted to do. Mm. At least like what Yams did, mm. like what Rocky said. Yams had a book. Yeah. I feel like his. I hope uh, Nipsey's people at least 
You want pull through like, with a bunch of a lot, lot of his things. You want to just like release music? You mean? No, 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 just... no, 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 just uh, ideas. Oh. <clears throat> oh, like ideas so, of like business. Push forward yeah, like yeah, what yeah, yeah. Nipsey wanted to do if he left anything around, yeah, yeah, anything yeah. behind. Probably business. Yeah. So. Yeah, that'll be cool. Yeah. So R.I.P. R.I.P. Let's go on. First quarter music. Yeah, let's do it. What uh? I'm still, I'm still slapping to this day. I am still slapping. What do you think about the first quarter? It was kind of weak, to be honest. It was a little weak. It was average. But it was, it was weak. Okay, yeah, you can say it's average, but because of the last last year we finished so strongly in December, yeah, November, I agree we with finished twenty one. Who else? Hello, other artist Meek, I think. Bad Bunny just want to put that out there. Hello, artist drops like hella good shit the end of last year so I, I wasn't expecting too much from the beginning of this year which mm-hmm. is what we got we got like a couple of cool cool projects but nothing is what was a standout I forgot some of them two, two chains album for sure really Kid Lonnie for I can't sure. alright we, we'll go all right. we'll go your top five we'll do like one at, one at a time I don't even know if I got a top five you have a top five I, know, probably, probably I have a top five, five and a couple considerations um <clears throat> no order though um there you go you like you really like Two Chains album? I liked it. I I don't like I don't even go back to it that much, but like it was like a really good like solid album. Like it was pretty good. I, I think thought, I gave it like an eight out of ten when we. I hyped it, it up. So. I hyped it up way too much. I was just ready for a new Two Chains album. It was album. really good though. I think I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I, okay, I guarantee you. Like go back to it and listen to it for like a week. You'll probably end up like really liking it. It was really. It was really uh, good. I don't know. Like, I, you barely, didn't like I, it, I barely even go back to the right songs that I wanted. Didn't like it. it was the Bronx fault. I'm just saying that. Is it? Yeah. I, Blame it on Brian. Yeah, you were hyping it up because it too. Look what happened. I was hyping it up because it changed. I really like two chains. Hey, it was fire though. It was a good album. Solid, like eight out of ten. It was alright. Sure. I mean, I gave it an eight. I gave it a seven and a half. I'd probably give it like a good six and a half, seven. I'm not gonna lie. I think I, I think I, I said I think I said it was his best album when it came out. Yeah. So I think I might have to retrace on that. But... Yeah, no, his first one. What was his first one? Um, uh, based uh, on a true story. Based on a boat. So that... <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so that was one of yours. One of mine was Zakari's. The Cars albums on my top five. I never, for sure. I never got around to it to be honest. Really? I never got. Around it's to really it. short, I easy. I never got around to it. I play it all the time, all the way How through. Many, it wasn't too many tracks. Was it? it was like seven. Yeah. Like seven. You think you got you got good on all of them? Yeah. For sure. For sure. Mm. I can listen to it all the way through, no problem. Mm. Uh, what about you? You got another one? Kaylani's. I still go back to that one. I go back to it sometimes. I try to go back to it, but I realized recently, like the range Kaylani gives me. Like in her music, like it it's kind of like sim- like just her music's very similar. Well, so like when I listen to her now, I get, I keep I keep hearing that. And I keep her, thinking all her projects as a yeah. whole, her range isn't too much. Yeah, she just well, doesn't what's have her range. range. For you, like just like like SZA is an example. Oh. Like she can. No, SZA's range is it's way tinier than. Whoa, what? Than than Kaylani's. Like the ty- the kinds of sounds that she can play with and stuff. I'm talking about her like her vocals more. Uh, I'm talking about that. Yeah, they both got a voice. They both, can, is, they both can sing really good. Yeah, I know. They can't sing really good, but Scissor's range is always really... I think it's just she more... She has the same vocals, like, pretty much. No. She has good beats, though. Nah. She just, like, I, can't, she, I don't know if I agree with that. Damn, I don't know. Like, she, can she hit, like, a high pitch? Yeah, what do you want? Scissor? Yeah. I don't know. I don't, did, did, has she ever hit a high pitch? Uh. She's, her, her voice is pretty... It's not deep, but it's, like, it's, like, uh, it's low. It's a nice voice. I'm just saying her range is only to low. You're really talking same about with, like the <laughs> same, yeah, same with Kaylani. I don't think Kaylani can hit like a really high pitch either. Not she for sure can. Kaylani? I'm pretty sure but they both can. I'm not sure what songs, but I guarantee like, I've heard Susan them both. Like does that fucking, people be making fun of her voice and the way she pronounces it. People make fun of her voice? Yeah. I didn't you know that. that they, cause they be, that. the way she be pronouncing shit, like that fake ass accent. Oh, I've seen you know that before. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that before. Scoy scoy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about though. Like her range is, is kind of low. Like I'm not. I meant more just the sounds of each song. Instrumentation. Yeah, and all that. It's just okay. like it kind of just sounds the same. For Kaylani. Yeah, to me. Okay, I, yeah, I can, I can get, <clears throat> I can understand that. But yeah, but I didn't think, think that, that was, before until like most recently. But do you think that was like her best project so far? Or not? Which one was her best? Uh, I'm a real big fan of her first album. Was that um, the pink cover? That was her first. Oh yeah, her first her album. Mixtapes, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. and her other mixtape. SSS, yeah. 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 I really oh like yeah. That. Sweet Sexy, Sexy Savage. Savage. Yeah. yeah. I like this one better because that one had more of a uh, pop ish feel to me. This mm-hmm. one was more R and B. Yeah, that's true. You know and then like the Omar, what was the the Icebox? I think uh, sample in the very first song. Mm-hmm. That was a really good I one. What it's called. 
I know with uh, slacks or black. Black. We call them black. Slack. Yeah, I call slack. them slack. Six I slack. sometimes call them six slack. I call them whatever the I want. They don't <laughs> <full> chill. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> Cause I don't like how you try to force fucking black on us. Like, I want to call you slack. Oh yeah, that shit. Like, he'd be like, my name's black. I'm like, bitch, I'm not. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, that one. Uh, what about you? What else you got? Here, you go next. Oh, you put Kehlani, huh? Yeah, uh, um, <laughs> did you, you ever listen to Baby's Project? No, and I was it was really good. It's on my top five. Last night, like I don't know why I had this feeling of like, um, let me look up uh, the Baby real quick, and then like I downloaded his album already to listen to. But his project's really good. I heard. It's I really like, messed really with good. it. The whole thing. I don't even know. Like I can't even tell off jump. Like what kind of rapper he is. Like. Is he like, he's just a rapper. Is he one he's of just the, a rapper. He's not one of the littles. Is he? Nah, 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 nah. Like he's a, is, does he do bars and shit? Yeah, he, he's cool. He does a little bit of both. But he got what kind of beats he got? That's really important to me. He got like Can't. some funky beats or does he got like boom bap beats? It's kind of a little beats? bit of both. Like trap, boom bap. Okay. A little bit of both. He looks, I don't, I really, I'm like I don't know. He looks, like he, I guess maybe because we're so used to seeing these whack ass artists coming out, like damn mm-hmm. your rock stars, like with weird ass hair and shit. Like this fool has like a bald boosy face. Like damn, you gonna do this all? No, nah, I'm just saying like he just chilling. Like he he looks like a regular dude. Like it's, oh, he just doesn't look like everybody it's else. good to see okay, like a regular yeah, dude. Okay, That's okay, what I'm saying. Yeah, like I can't really wrap my you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that for that, I'll check him out today. Though. All right, what else you got? I can't even think of it. <laughs> damn, really fool. I can't, bro. This first quarter, it didn't catch my attention that much. I'd have to say Toro and Moy. I, I, never to I never got around to listening to any of their music. Too, I like honestly. Toros. Um, I think I I heard like one song because Tyler tried to put me on him like, <clears> back in the day when he was like, talking. and then uh, Lion Babes. That's a, I really like Lion Babe project. The one that just came out. Mm-hmm. See, I don't I don't know. I, I, guess, I, I guess I could throw it in there, but I just didn't want it because it just came out. But yeah. I guess it was the first quarter, and yeah, it was really good. It was really. That good. was the first time I ever heard Lion Babe. I think I've heard her name before, but the first time hearing like a, a project. I do want to. I do want to add a little Sims project as a consideration and Smith and Wesson. Honorable though. mentions. <laughs> yeah, honorable mentions. All right. It was, All right. it was okay, bro. It was a good. It was a good. It was a good. It was a good, it was it was, a good first quarter. It was a me. decent first quarter. I'd give it. I'm. I'm hoping we get more. Next in the, one in the summer. <clears throat> I'm hoping yeah. we get some big. Shit I mean, most recently. I mean, I really like the music that came out this week though. It was this like all. It was mostly week. all. It was all women. Yeah. Um, I think it was pretty solid. Uh, to me, Billy was. I'm a. I like Billy Eilish. I was a fan. This was disappointing. Really? Yeah, it was disappointing to me. Wow. See, uh, I really liked it. This is my first time hearing. Really? Yeah, I heard like two tracks from like a really long time ago, mm-hmm. but I didn't think much of it. I really liked this album. I'm not gonna lie. It was a weird shit. I think sonically. I think it was too weird. A little bit too. I might need to go do it again. It was it a little weird. I, I think this is. I think this is the album that I listened to the most out of the four. Really? For sure. Yeah. Uh, I go back to that one. I listen to Lion Babes the most out of all of them. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Lion Babe was second for me. Yeah, I really like Sweeties. You yeah, didn't. Bro, Besides the cool. Quavo features, those two songs. The, throwing Quavo on it just was so. I felt like it was so lazy of her. Sweetie for sure has the worst song of the week though. The the tiptoe. I hate tiptoes, bro. Ah, uh, hold on. Yeah, we, we copyrighted. <laughs> I hate tiptoe. Tiptoe, tiptoe is like the worst song. Bro, I'm of telling the you, week. she really. She's been talking about her fucking. It's, what do you mean? She's she she been talking, talking about her toes, toes. for the longest. Yeah, what do you like, mean? Like, bro, even in her Instagram posts, like all her Instagram, like there's like three Instagram posts and she's like, "Oh, I got white white tiptoes, white toes today." And I'm just like, "Shut the fuck up." You like, follow her? Yeah, on Instagram. Oh, uh, okay. are you are you gonna talk shit? But you gonna follow her? Hey, bro, I gotta show love to the fucking Bay Area artists. Like, she's just, she from Sac? Also, also now you want to <laughs> now you want to switch up? Yeah, bitch. Oh fuck. from Hayward first, so already counts. He's Bay. What about a uh, Cuban doll? I like Cuban Dolls actually. Really? It was solid. <clears throat> it wasn't anything like like uh, extra or like amazing or like that caught my fucking attention. Like, oh my god! But it was really solid. Yeah, I like she had, she had a good amount, and hers was short too. Twelve tracks. I was like, yeah. I really liked how uh, I liked how Cuban Doll and Sweetie were both given because this is their DB, right? Both for both of them. Right? Yeah, yes. like they're really short. Yeah. Since they're like. And it may also made me think of like other artists who really drop like as their debut a full length project. How Instead hard that really is. Instead of an EP. Yeah. Well, because Sweetie dropped an EP. Was it an EP? It's so is the EP like not an album? No, no, I think EP. What does EP even stand for? I'm not even sure. Well, when, every time I see an EP, it's usually like seven to ten tracks. Yeah, and then around, LP is around, like LP lengthy. is like super short, isn't it? Like yeah. Three tracks, four tracks, damn near. Who did that? No, LP's how long? The, is it? I'm pretty sure LP's whole. I thought LP was because the weekend the weekend dropped an EP like 
Oh, so so an year. EP means extended play record. What does that even mean? I think EPs are longer. They're supposed to be longer. LP? What about LP? LP means long be- playing. All right, there you go. Long what? Long playing. Uh, long playing record? Mm-hmm. And then e- EP was... Extended. What the fuck? Doesn't extended mean like yeah, kind of long not, too? I don't know. Alright, whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I feel like extended play is more of like the after. You know, like, this, like, is, like this is just an extension. Extra, this extra is, songs? Just, yeah, like this is just... Kind of throwaway songs. Yeah, like okay. this is an extra. Yeah, so you put out trash? Like, That's well, just what I'm thinking. Damn. No, not like that. Not, <laughs> not if you look at it like that. Just more right, look right. at it like... Yeah, it's just like the it's just like the end yeah, piece yeah, yeah. of it. So it's like an extended. No, no, I think, I think the way I would rate it, I for sure have... Billy or Lion <clears throat> first. Mm-hmm. That's like one A one B for me, and then Cuban Doll and then Sweetie. Sweetie for sure. I feel that I'd have to go Lion Babe, Sweetie, Cuban Billy. Damn, you really like Sweetie shit, huh? Yeah. Damn, bro, that uh, bro, she sounds so that un- Freak Elite, that 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 Freak Elite. Nah, dude, she that sounds, one got me, bro. <laughs> she sounds so like. She don't sound that bad. Bro, she don't sound She motivated. sounded bad at that once. She does tip, not sound tip, motivated. Tip. She don't sound unins- She sounds uninspired. Like Damn. her voice is her energy's not there. You go to Cuban Doll. Cuban Doll got some Cuban Doll's there. Cuban Doll got some Cuban Doll's on your head. She's yelling, For the like, first song, she was on everybody's head. I feel like she would fucking beat my ass. Like <laughs> I was like, what I do? Like she got energy for real. I kinda really like the I forgot. Um who else is in that group of like new new uh female female rappers, rappers. like Cuban Doll, Rico. Uh, this, there's uh, another name, one. Stallion? Is it the Stalin chick? She, she Megan, like, Megan the Stalin. Megan the Stalin? Yeah, that's yeah, Megan. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I haven't listened to her And then there's like Sweetie. And then, Rico's uh, Megan too. Rico's couple. got some energy. Are you like Rico now? She got some energy. You were hating on Rico though. Was I? Yeah, you've hated on her before. What, really? Yeah. Actually? Yeah, a couple months ago. I probably did. Rico's dope though. I really I, like, like I don't really like, like her music, but I like her energy. She's for sure there. Like, yeah, she's on your head. She's, yeah, bro. There's a couple other ones. Um, I can't remember, but... Yeah, it's kind of, I kind of want to see where they go, where they're headed, mm. what uh, what their labels what, do what with them. What your favorite tracks on like each of them? On where? On each of them. Uh, Lion Babe. I really like the whole thing. I like the whole thing on Lion Babe. But I so, think the one that stood so out we, to me was like, Hard You Love or some shit like that. Am I right? I think. You love, oh, no, it's Cubans. Oh, Cubans. Let me go check um, that Cubans, that first track, though. That shit caught me. Yeah, out. for, Q, for like, Cuban Doll, that first track was my. Oof, I was like, damn. Live on the green. Yeah, no, she was going hard, bro. I'm telling you, she got the energy there for sure. Lion Babes, what was it? When I Told You I Loved You, I Loved That Song. Too. That song I feel was like, it. Yeah, yeah. That's, that, that whole, yeah, that album all the way through for me was, was really good. I think for Saweetie's album, it was my type. That Freak a Leak sample. Yeah. That was cool. I, don't know. I like the very first song only, damn near. On wow, you a hater. Like another track. Well, I'm saying, the only reason I'm calling Saweetie's trash is because... Her delivery. I no. I've always said this. You cannot give me seven songs only and uh, have okay, me like yeah. only like three of them. Yeah. If you gonna drop a short like EP or whatever the fuck album, you better have all that shit like good because it's only seven tracks. Come on. Like you feel me on that? I know you do, bro. Come on. Now. How many songs? How many tracks? Did I you do, but like? I feel like EP should be looked at as kind of a mixtape. So like just experimental. Yeah. Oof, and I that's and that's the only reason why. Then drop a mixtape, then you can't. That's what I'm saying. But like, it's different. Like when a whole Kanye to that standard is because he said these are albums. He made that clear. Okay. So I was like, all right, like these seven need to be on point. Yeah, they gotta be getting perfect, right? And yeah, yeah, like, but if you're just, I don't know for a debut and like you're new, I'm not gonna hold it against you like that. I I kind of am. Damn. Because it, it's your debut. This is a big project. For you, you have to live up to a lot of things in your debut. They also so, dropped at a very bad time. Sweetie? All, of, all them. of them? Yeah, I feel like this week was a little mm. little rough. It just kind of got overshaded a little bit. Yeah just a, yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, I feel that. Okay. But they did good. I'm excited to see what else they do. I like Billy. Um, I wouldn't be looking forward to them. You really didn't like Billy shit, bro? Nah, I might need to go back. I might like it later bro, on. Bro, that's some good tracks on there. But, um, what was I going to say about Billy? She looked musty, figured. bro. <laughs> No, I'm like, I'm not even trying to hate you. What? She looks musty. Can't be cute in the studio. She's not even in the studio. Yeah. You look on her Instagram, she's outside and she's looking. Bro, you see what they try to do to Kendrick? They got a new picture of him. And they're like, uh, Kendrick yeah. looking homeless. Hey, man. And then they're, hey, bro, they're bro. like, they're, uh, they're like um, a classic coming in a year. Hey, man. Hey, man. No, bro. Come no, on now. No looking Dude, cute in the studio. You gotta put a sign up here, too. That you gotta look musty, bro. Come on now. <laughs> um, let's go. You want to do... Wanna talk about Uzi for a quick sec? Uzi Uzi, bro, that song he dropped was fire. 
Was yeah. it called Money Keep Coming? Bro, why does Uzi music <laughs> keep getting leaked, leaked all the time? I feel bad. Well, is he leaking it himself? Nah, it's, other, sure it's other people. I feel like it's drama, though. I feel like it's his old label. Always I think he's leaking, leaking it. himself, though. <clears throat> you think? I feel like he is. Because wasn't he having uh, problems with his label? Yeah. I feel like he was just like, fuck you guys. Like, I'm just going to say somebody else leaked it and just put this shit out. Because he wasn't putting music out for like a half but a year. But don't you think that almost. hurts him, though? To leak? Yeah. To leak his own music. No, because Uzi's more of a festival artist. He he can make his money out. He could live off festivals. Yeah, me me and George are talking about that. Right? Um, yeah. So. How his contract? He's only get, he's getting paid under twenty percent. Probably hell a little, right? Yeah. He make his bag off festivals. Though, I even, guarantee you. Even DJ Academic said yeah. um, he has the worst contract in the industry. Because he got he signed really early when yeah. he was popping off. As and a SoundCloud artist, right? SoundCloud artist, yeah. yeah. And he yeah he was one of the first too, so I don't think he understood it either. And mm-hmm. I think he just got caught in the. I mean, I mean, he is. He did. I think he signed a three album contract, and so once he releases this one, he'll be off. Who did he sign to? Uh, whatever Drama's label is, Quality. No, not Quality no, Control. No, no. Um. Oh yeah, he did sign a Drama. Though. Yeah, he signed a Drama. Dance a Drama fucking label. Apparently, yeah. Damn. You see, uh, Uzi's uh picture. He was like, "Don't mess with the boss's uh daughter." <laughs> For real, I haven't seen that. I was like, "Damn!" <laughs> or don't hang out with the boss's daughter. <laughs> He's like, "Or your album won't drop." Oh. But I want to say shout out Jay Z for that for saving Uzi from that Got from all that. Right? Yeah, I wonder how though, because yeah, like when me and me and me and my brother were talking about it, um, we we're saying maybe he bought him out of his contract. Mm-hmm. But if he bought him out of his contract, then Uzi shouldn't be owing um, shouldn't be owing drama an album. Does he? He still does. Yeah, he, he after after he drops one more, he's good. He's off his. Did label. he drop Eternal? Mm, that's no? that's the one that's an next. A lot of people were saying that it got leaked and something something and it's out there somewhere and I'm like where. So, yeah, nah. I th- I hope he signs to Rock Nation. That'd be amazing. That'd it's be like, cool. Bro, Jay Z. Rock Nation is OP. They're kind of because they're a management team and a record label. They're a bunch of different things, but under one. Mm-hmm. But I feel like being able to manage other artists that aren't on your label <laughs> is kind of like I'm monopolizing it, but kind of just like I think it's OP. For the reason that Jay Z could get an Uzi and be like, "Oh, collab with this," mm-hmm. and like we're your management team, mm-hmm. and so it's just easier. It's kind of fucked up. He could literally go fuck with like another. I think it's smart though. Oh, it's smart. But yeah, I'm it's all saying, smart. It's fucked up because he could go. He could Daniel go snatch another artist from another label like mm-hmm. like that. Like Jay Z got that power, bro. He could, yeah, Jay Rock Nation. Rock Nation's dope. Not even just artists, bro. It's Rock Nation sports too. Oh yeah, they, they even got, got that. Athletes. I think Jay Z got a hand in Puma. Right? Yeah, he got some ownership. Come from on, him. bro. Jay Z everywhere. Like, it's getting crazy out here. Jay Z for the people, though. Gotta go to his brunch, bro. One of his brunches. Oh, stop. Get some game. <laughs> <laughs> um, do so, you wanna go? Yeah, what's up with your team, bro? Duke? Bro, I said it. I called it. I told you with Dane legit. Yeah, at least, at least you knew that. Dane legit. At least you weren't, like, on the hype. Like, we even called Michigan State, too. Called them. Damn, uh, hey, bro. We, but, we said but Michigan State was the underdog. They could have won that game, though. They just fucked up at the end. I'm pretty sure. RJ Mich- Barrett. Michigan banged, like, Wasn't it RJ game. Barrett? I, I didn't even see that in the game. Yeah. I was hearing, bro. They're fucking killing this guy. Yeah, they're killing RJ. Yeah, it's fucked up. You go to his Instagram comments, they're all just like, oh, fuck you. Like, you fucked up Zion's fucking championship. Shit. Damn, really? They're yeah, all like yeah, that? Yeah, they're on his head, bro. It's like, come on, bro. Like, back off. Well, what was it? Free throws? Well, because they had RJ. Yeah, it was free throws. Because mm, they, no they had RJ. It is. <laughs> I hate you. It is, though. You know what it is. It's because <laughs> it's they had RJ as, like, number two going in the draft. Oh, so, like, it? you should show how to expect oh, way more. Oh, yeah. is that why? Yeah. That's not fair. Zion missed a free throw at the end of the UCF game. Nobody gave him nothing because they won that game, though. Yeah, true. He missed a crucial free throw. But you see the video I where... think it was RJ Barrett that put in that <laughs> motherfucker, too. You, you see the video where the guy where, um, the guy tried to throw it back, or he tried to get the rebound, he tried to throw it back. Um, but then they were like, you could tell he never played... Um, What's that rebounding game? Oh, uh, 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 it's not t- tips. Tips, yeah, tips. tips. <laughs> yeah, that's not, that's not <laughs> like, you like, know, oh. this fool never played tips when he was younger. No, I was like, I, I held out of Diego when we saw that shit. I was like, oh. uh, I got, I got, I got um, UNC winning, winning at all. UNC, Michigan State. I didn't got Michigan State. Really? Yeah. I will see. Sure. Who else is in it? Virginia. I put a bet on it. Virginia. I don't know about that. <laughs> if they both make it to the final, I put that one. Ain't that confident? Wow. <laughs> hey, here's the guy, bro. Who is it? It's, 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 it's UNC, Michigan, Virginia. Who's the other team? I think they're already on was the it final. Auburn? Uh, Auburn Michigan. still might be in They're in Final Four, so just like a Final Four. Uh, yeah, hold up. Pretty hold sure. Up. Michigan. Damn, when's the next time they play? Oh, yeah, so it's Texas Tech, Michigan oh, Texas State, Tech. 
Auburn, Virginia. Ooh, Texas. Wait, Tech. hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Might be lacking. Yeah, I say, Did UNC like, lose? Yeah, like the final four. Come on, man. No, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm over here. Oh, I'm gonna take myself to the old town road. Damn, I'm stupid. <laughs> They've been out. Texas? No, oh, UNC lost too. Yeah, I was thinking when you told me, I was like, hold on. I was like, so it's hey, Auburn, so it's Auburn, Virginia, Michigan State, Texas, Texas Tech. Tech. I'm rolling Michigan State. Do you know who's going against who? Uh, yeah, it's um, Michigan State, Texas Tech, and then Auburn, Virginia. I for sure got Virginia and Michigan in the, in the final. I don't know. Virginia. Auburn's been pretty going off. They beat UNC 97-80. Then they beat Kentucky 77-71. So they beat Press. the number, Virginia, Auburn beat the number one and the number two. They only hooping. And then they got to play Virginia. Who's the number one? Big, big captain. I got, yeah, I got Michigan State. I'm going to go with Michigan State-Auburn in I got, the final. I got, no, I got Michigan State. Only because I'm going to roll with Auburn just because they're the underdogs. Oh, you bitch. All right, fuck you. <laughs> Fun bitch. So you picked the Twilight Zone episode or what? That, yeah. What was the episode called again? The, the Comedian, uh, I think. Right? Yeah, The Comedian. Like the it? Comedian. I liked it. It have was you, really... Have you, have you ever seen, uh, like, the old Twilight Zones? No, I wasn't a fan. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Were you? Yeah, I always watch that shit. Love shit. I just didn't like I was in black and white. That's what I love about it the most. It was an old show, bro. Real talk. It was a really old show. So every episode was different, right? Every there was no storyline back love. then? I love I love shows like that. What kind of shows is this called? I know there's... I think it starts with an A. I what it's called. Um, I like that, though, because they can keep things fresh. It reminds me of Black Mirror a lot. Well, I know Black Mirror, like, picked it off of yeah, Twilight yeah, yeah. Zone. Mm-hmm. But... Black Mirror's how did you like the beginning? Or what did you get from the very beginning of the of the film? How it went. Or not from the film, from yeah, the episode. The <clears throat> how it went. How it showed a clip of of him doing it. Then it went to the intro. And then it showed the clip again. I love, but I love going the different. intro. Because I love like, just mm-hmm. the, the nod to like the old ones. Like, yeah. Even they played little music. Like, oh, now you're now entering the Twilight Zone. Yeah. I guess the Twilight Zone in this is like a different... I don't want to say dimension. It's like a... It's not, it's not this world. It's not this world that you and me live in. Yeah, it's not, and it's it's like it's their own <clears throat> kind of weird world that they live in. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know what it's called. Uh, anyways, I I thought the the J C Wheeler character was kind of, like as soon as they when the they main, the main character. Uh, no, it was played by um or the J C Wheeler the comedian guy the the not the Indian guy the, the black guy. Oh okay okay. What's his name? Um, uh, Tracy. Tracy. Was it Tracy Morgan? Morgan. Tracy Morgan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I thought I thought I don't know why instantly when I saw the when I saw him I thought of Dave Chappelle, because his whole thing was when the Indian guy saw him he's like oh you used to be so big and then you disappeared like what happened like, I don't know why I thought oh. of, I instantly thought of Dave Chappelle because I was like Dave Chappelle, and then he Damn, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I instantly like I saw that and I was like I was like feel like and also because Jordan Peele and Keegan Allen have never fucking had. They never liked like Dave Chappelle. Like they've I had they little, didn't like him. They've had little beef though because Dave Chappelle. Not really. I think not, it, not like a serious beef, but like a back and forth thing. Like oh, Dave Chappelle's like oh, you fucking. Nah, it was show. just when and Dave called like, him oh, out and stuff. Yeah, that was. Kind it was of more of like the people. Like, Anyways, I just thought I, I don't think that. it was like some disrespect. I just thought it was kind of like a little nod to like yeah. to like Dave. Um, I, it. Uh, I like I like the show though. So really when the beginning, I thought it was maybe it started off in one dimension and then after the intro went into another one you think they go into another yeah yeah so i thought i thought every so when i first when i watched it yesterday um i thought every time someone disappeared it was going into a new dimension mm. but then i was like no nah, it's not it no. it's just a loop yeah it's just a loop it's just a loop because mm-hmm. he doesn't have powers mm-hmm. we know that he doesn't have powers um but I, I i thought the show had like a really you've seen death note before right yeah, that's what it, that's what it reminded me of. It reminded really, me of Death Note. He had the book and everything. Yeah, he had the book and everything. And he would kind of like he would. They wouldn't show that he, like the names in the book or anything, but you would always see him like writing out his act in it. Mm-hmm. And then, or sometimes even on spot, he'll be like, "Oh, what's your name?" Remember? And the guys were like heckling him. He's like, "What's your name, sir? What's your name, sir?" And then he's like, he put their name into his act, and then they disappear. And he was doing that when he was like on the Facebook too. Do you yeah. remember that scene uh-huh. where he was on yeah, Facebook? Yeah, he was looking for people, like, things to put into his act. Like, was, that when he, was that when he was testing it? Testing, like, what yeah, he was... Yeah, I think he wanted to see. Or was... Because when, cause when I was watching it, I thought it was him trying to figure out jokes to say. No, I think he was... He was so he it was him test, yeah, trying to test sure it, like, it. what, what yeah. it was going on. He was looking up, like, people from his high school, I think. Mm-hmm. Then your people, like, that bullied him or something. Yeah. Because remember, he said in the act, he's like, oh, I used to have a fucking bully. And then, mm-hmm. and then like, that disappeared. Now, did he, did he ever make his girlfriend disappear? I don't remember. Spoiler alert. Oh, 
No, he didn't. Because he cause, didn't? Cause he, cause, co- she, she oh. confronted him. Oh, he made himself disappear at the end, remember? Yeah, because she confronted him with the book and yeah, everything yeah, in front yeah, of everybody. Yeah. And then he was just like, he said himself. And then yeah, he made himself disappear. Did you, did you notice the mic drop, though? I thought that was kind of funny. Mm-hmm. When he drops the mic, like it was literally like a mic drop, like it hits the ground, and then people get up and clap. And, boom, 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 and I thought, I thought that backdrop in the back had something to do with the show, but I didn't know yet. And then at the end, what backdrop? Uh, the, after, after his, uh, you know how it shows, after stand up, shows him in the painting, at, yeah. the, at the very end, mm-hmm. and, like he's kind of stuck in there. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking all those people, oh. all those people before him also had that that problem mm-hmm. that J C Wheeler brought to them. Mm. Yeah, man. See, I still had to win when it ended. The way I was looking at it was pretty much that we're showing his loop, mm. which is like one universe. Mm. But so then, you, like but, then you, universe, but then you know once like once he cut himself, up, once he like uh, made himself disappear, like his universe is done. Mm. And then I thought it ended with showing another kind of universe or like dimension. Uh, with the girlfriend, pretty much if he, if he wasn't there, if he was never, yeah, if he never they, existed. They show his girlfriend, right? No, the- they showed the other comedian, the uh, the black female co- comedian. Oh yeah, she's doing her stand up. Huh? She was doing her little stand-up bit at the end. Yeah, so it was pretty yeah. much the same thing, but with her because oh, he, yeah, never, because he never existed. She goes to see J.C. Wheeler too, right? Mm-hmm. She sees him at the bar. Because mm-hmm. uh-huh. she, because she, because he, yeah, the so other they, guy never yeah, existed. Yeah, he never existed then. Because because his girlfriend was at the at that at the club with the niece that he made disappear before. Remember? Yeah. So yeah, you're right. I think they made him. They like negated him of the equation, and they went to another universe. Yeah. Where it was revolving around. The female comedian. Not gonna lie, it was it was kind of confusing. Not confusing, but something to keep. It was really hard to keep. Yeah, it was trippy. A little trippy. Yeah. I stripped out kind of like almost the whole. But episode. I like once I saw the death note nod, like I was kind of like, mm-hmm. oh, this is it. this motherfucker just killing people just off of saying it. And I really liked how uh, Jordan would uh, kind of go into it. Like he yeah, would, he would, he would, uh, they would include him. Yeah. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited to see episode two. I think it's out there somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I guess three. it's out. I'm probably gonna keep up with it. It is dope. <laughs> I like the, yeah. I'll try to keep up with it as best I can. <clears throat> I, don't I don't know, know if it's going to be streamed, bro. I'm telling you. You don't think it's going to be what? I don't know if it's going to be streamed or, or, or live television. Like, mm-hmm. I'm going to drop on it. I'll go stream it. Actually, how crazy do you think it would be um, if something like that was actually, like, real? Like, like the movie? Death Note shit. Fuck, remember? Because, like, because in Death Note, he, would, he wasn't a b- bad guy. He was bad. I never finished it. No, was he a bad guy? Wasn't he only killing people who just. Would... No, that's cool. Yeah, he just, like, towards halfway through the show, he starts getting... Not even halfway. Oh, not like, the whole show, was, but in the very beginning. No, no, like, no, he was trying to be, like, he was only trying to get rid of, like, bad people. Yeah, but people. I'll say, like, third episode in, he started getting really fucking, like, So you think crazy. So, that, so you think that messes with people's head? Yeah, because you know you have power to do something that nobody else has. So the... If you had that, you would So, like, what power gives you? What power gives someone? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what drives him crazy. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's a... The power and the knowing that you won't get caught. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't think There's it's, no I don't think it's a personality caught. that you already have. Like, I want to kill people. I think mm-hmm. it's like after you get the power, you're like, hey, I, I can kill people and get away with it. Like, yeah, so might as well. Build, like, so you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you never know, bro. I might kill what? you if I got I had a little book. That's messed up. You say something wrong I'm to a, me. I'd be like, fuck Brian. I just choke <laughs> up. <laughs> now, but see, the thing about Death Note is he was able to, like, say, like, how they died. Oh, that shit was. Which would be even creepier. It would be trippy. It would be creepier. Because you go into detail, like, oh, this person walks out. At the cafe at nine oh two, and he gets stabbed in the fucking chest. Like what? What mm-hmm. the fuck? Like still had people dying on some weird ass shit. Like, and then this guy who just make a joke, and then yeah. once they start laughing, they yeah, disappear. Yeah. Dead. <laughs> it's like what? I'll yeah. be hot. Um, I like how the Hugh J C Wheeler said at the end though. He's like, you're not killing people. He's like, you can't kill somebody that never existed. Like, mm-hmm. so technically, which is true. Yeah, which is true. Like that's why it was trippy for me. I was like, is he fucking evil? Like, is he a murderer? Or I not? couldn't tell. Yeah, and I couldn't I was tell. Like, I don't know. I couldn't even tell what he was. But like you said, the Twilight Zone isn't is their own. Uh, it's like yeah, it's not it's not present time. It's not this world. It's like that their own show. That show is like their own little dimension. Mm-hmm. So you excited to see what Jordan Peele does with it? Yeah, and I'm happy that he got that. Like he got the job to do that. Like I'm pretty sure they offered it to him, and he was fucking like, "Fuck." Yeah. He was like, "Let's do this." Yeah, he deserves that shit for sure. All right, I think that's a uh, offer to. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I think we done. Deuces. Alright, deuces. Niggas be nervous on the mic. I'm real comfortable. La, count my nose, smoke up. I'm from California. Me and my weed is broke. All my bitches go up. Where you from? So what? Why y'all niggas so 
Toe, all you niggas so broke, all my niggas so up, California soda.